Hello, hello, this is part four of the series. We just got done with Heart of the Mountain, and I've taken about a day break from Skyblock. I say a break, but really I've just been editing, but we've wasted a day, so what we're gonna have to do is make up for it and get powder done super fast. Derpy is gonna be in like eight, nine days, so we need to start getting powder done. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I've got a gauntlet, I've put compact on it, we're going to be powder mining in the goblin holdout. I could mine in the precursor for more powder, but what I want to do is mine in the goblin holdout for more money. The reason for this is because I want to be able to have a decent mining set for when I mine gemstones. I don't know how much powder we're going to go for yet. We have another 8 million to claim from our armadillo selling, so that puts us at nearly 20 mil. So this is our tree. We've gone for mining speed, fortune, then we've turned over here and then gone straight up. And then we got mold to level 51, not as high as I wanted, but I'm going to have to wait to get more powder to get it to 71. We're a powder buff 20 and we're a great explorer 15. Now the reason for this is because of the reduced locks on the chest. Now I'm not going to show myself powder grinding because it's just going to be boring. So what I'm going to do is whenever something good happens or like a good amount of powder progression, I'm just going to start recording again but for now it's going to be quite a slow process while i get my powder levels up all right so it's been about a day since we've been powder grinding and we're about 1.7 million gemstone powder our goal is about 4 million we just hit great explorer 20 so now powder is going to be a lot easier we need about 2.3 million more but as i said we're at great explorer 20 now so we will be able to just put all of our powder into mole and powder buff. Also, we've made a ton of money from goblin eggs. I've calculated it to be around 30 million in everything that I've got here. But also in my inventory, I can sell for 11 million. Uh, my sacks is worth 12.7 million. I have a lot of money right now and I'm still going to be making a lot more money while I powder ground. Now my god pod's about to run out and what I thought we'd do is get a higher alchemy level. Now derpy is coming soon so I don't want to spend too much money but what I am going to do is buy one enchanted sugar cane and I'm just going to put it in here and then once this is done I'll add some glowstone and then I'll claim it and see how much I get. The potions are done I'm just going to claim these and see where it puts us at. Alright, so it put us at alchemy 14, nearly 15, very close actually to 15. So in that last clip, you can see that I just bought a fishing minion, tier 11 for 2 million. I think that's about crafting price, but anyway, now that we have that, and the reason we have that is to get our clownfish collection up. The reason for that is because I want to unlock the ability to carry my sacks in the menu. So we're going to start off by placing down a fishing minion, and what I want to do is just buy all the stuff we need okay so we just bought a large storage from the bazaar we've got enchanted lava bucket a super compactor and diamond spreading next we got four mil gemstone powder now so we finished powder mining it took us about four days we were getting about one million on average a day but there was one day where my internet was out so i ended up doing nearly two mil powder one of the days regardless we're nine days into the profile and we've done heart of the mountain and we've done powder grinding right now what we need to do is sell all of our goblin eggs we have a lot of money here in goblin eggs 18 million just in the blue goblin eggs and if we take a look in the bazaar we have 26 million to claim so what i'm gonna do is put sell offers on everything and i'll get back to you once that's done and we've reached the maximum amount of bizarre orders so what we're gonna need to do is claim some of these so i'm instantly gonna claim the blue goblin one i'm gonna claim the coal so now we can auction the amber and the ruby i'm not gonna auction the flawless amber that i got from one of the powder chests but that's because i'm probably gonna end up putting it on my gear everything else though can be sold okay i'm I'm gonna claim some more of the orders the coal one has filled and the fine amber has also filled i'm also gonna claim the goblin eggs okay while i'm waiting for orders to fill i am gonna buy a repelling candle this is because the mobs on the island are annoying they are inflated but i'm probably just gonna buy one anyway 
Okay, yeah, I just ended up buying one for 300k. You can craft it for a very cheap price, but I haven't done foraging yet, and I don't plan to until Derpy. Okay, we're back in the Crystal Hollows, and I'm gonna reset the tree. We are done with powder grinding now. I know 4 mil gemstone powder isn't the best, but it is enough to start mining. So what I'm gonna do is just go up and then then take a left and then i'm just gonna go straight up i'm gonna need mining speed two i don't need powder bar but i do need mining fortune two i have one more token left and what i'm probably gonna do is just go for sky mall seems like the best Play. Now I'm instantly gonna upgrade Fortunate because I always forget about it. A very good tip is just hold down Q and it will just spam the button instead of you having to click it. Now we don't have too much Mithril Powder. I think there's only a couple things to buy with Mithril Powder anyway that we actually need and that's Mining Fortune and Speed. So I'm just gonna probably bring these to level 35 each and then see how much I have left. Okay, I actually have a lot of Mithril powder left, so I'm gonna take these to level 40. Okay, I do have 900k Mithril powder left, but what I've just noticed is I haven't upgraded Peak of the Mountain, so I'm gonna do a few levels of that. Okay, so I got it to Peak of the Mountain 7, which gave me a ton of Skyblock XP, but also we can't go any further because it requires gemstone powder to go any higher and I'm not gonna waste my gemstone powder on this. But we still have 500k mithril so I'm probably just gonna buy a couple more levels. There we go, we got both mining speed and mining fortune to level 47. Okay, the three perks that you actually use your gemstone powder on is mining fortune, mining speed and professional. So what I'm gonna do is probably try and evenly split this as much as I can but it will be a little bit difficult. Okay, so I spent about 1.5 million gemstone powder on mining speed 2 and mining fortune 2. So combined, I spent about 3 mil. I've got about 1 mil gemstone powder left and I think I'm going to pour all of it into professional. Okay, we've now run out of mithril powder and gemstone powder. Okay, so we go to level 40 on mining fortune 2 and level 40 on mining speed 2. And we also got to level 92 with professional. Now we could have gone for a couple more levels on mining speed than professional. I'm not really bothered. I can reset my tree again if i really want okay so holding my gauntlet i get 5,000 mining speed and 917 mining fortune but we have no mining pet and i'm still in sorrow so what we're gonna do is wait for all these buy orders to fill and then i'm gonna upgrade to devon's armor i can claim this hard stone for 10.5 million all right so we're in the bazaar we're just gonna claim whatever we can right now because these orders aren't really filling anymore so i'm gonna have to re-put some offers up we're now at 86 million so we are getting there i'm gonna relist all these orders i sold everything and we now have 130 mil in our purse now this is enough money to start getting Devon's armor, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, I thought I was going to buy this Jaded Boots of Devon for 48 mil, it has 4 slots unlocked. But then right over here, I see this one, for an extra 4 mil I get another slot. What I think I'm going to do is buy this, it does seem worth it. I am now going to try get another piece of Devon armor. Alright, so I partied this guy. And I wanted to buy this piece of Devon's armor that he has on the auction house. It's already a steal, but I thought if I could party him and just get him to lower the price a little bit, it would be so much more worth it. And it actually worked. All right, and there we go. The deal's done. This chest plate is worth 62 million lowest spin. I'm going to buy a recom and make it worth 67 mil. Okay, there we go. Jaded chest plate of Devon. We're now in our armor and it's not bad. What I wanted to do was spend about 55 million per piece so I could hopefully get nearly three pieces of Devon armor. But I ended up going for five slot Devon's armor only because I was saving a lot of money. So I figured I might as well get this. Now I'm going to be going for Devon Leggings next, and then we will just see how much money we have left for the helmet. I'm also going to take out the Fire and Amber and put a Flawless in here, so my Gauntlet has a little bit of an upgrade. But this is the end of the video, and the next video we'll be getting a full mind and setup, then we'll start working towards money. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.